Hey, what's up everybody? This is Daniel. I go by the username One Miracle 2 out in the RAM forums and gadget websites like that. I've been asked by a few enthusiasts to just share a quick video of my project and some of the materials that I used and where I got them. Now, I just want to point something out really quickly. I am not getting paid to say where I got any of this or any of that stuff. So, I'm just sharing information. I did some research, uh, found on YouTube. Soundman Car Audio, they do a lot of uh, Apple iPads and iPad mini installation fabrication jobs. Uh, I watched their videos over and over and over. Um, one of the guys that was there before, Alan, went over to Sonic Electronics. I'm not sure where he's at now or if he's still at Sonic Electronics. But I also watched him uh, or watched one of his videos on YouTube uh, that he did uh, for, I think it was a Nexus on a, the same pickup truck uh, as I have. Uh, this is a 2012 Dodge Ram pickup truck bezel. Uh, used to be about this big for the OEM radio. I whitened it and cut up the height a little bit. The hazards and all that used to be right about here. Okay, I moved it down. This used to be down there. Lucky for me, it, it already has all the holes and all that stuff. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, here's some of the glue that I used and the insta set man this made my job so much better working on this project and here's some of the plastic that I used uh, to make this inseam here and the back plate uh, over here you'll see a docking station and I'll show you the back in a second I also put on some 3m carbon fiber sticker which is really uh, tricky at first to learn how to use but once you once you learn how to you know use it. it it's really awesome the way it turns out uh, I used a heat gun on that to make it stretchy fit all the pieces nice and neat uh, what else all right let's show you the back here make sure you guys can see that all right so right here you'll see I have a galaxy tab dock Station. It allows me to plug in for charging right here. On the side over here, it has a mini or micro. I don't think that's micro HDMI, but it's a mini HDMI of some sort. Uh, so I can plug this into a second monitor if I wish. Monitor if I wish. And here is the backplate plastic piece that I was talking about that I used. I chopped it up, put it on there created a bottom piece as well I don't know if you guys how well can you guys can see that but I'm doing my best here and I had to create these sides here I basically put a saran wrap around the galaxy tab and I, I slapped it on here left it there and I chopped up one of these okay length from here to here basically put it right there put some of this glue right on here so I glued it and the Galaxy tab was sitting right here, so it wouldn't go in too much. And then I sprayed the Insta set. And then I went back with a Dremel. Oops, excuse me. Went back with a Dremel and chopped all of that off. That's pretty much it. Um, it took a few tries, but I finally got it to where I want it. I'm still working on a couple of issues, mainly up here. See, I had to make it really wide so I can slide the Galaxy Tab in and out. This is for an 8.9 inch Galaxy Tab. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here for a second and I'll show you the way it looks inside my pickup truck. Alright, so I have it mounted inside the uh, Dodge Ram pickup truck. Uh, you'll have to bear with me because I'm doing this by hand alone and my hand is very shaky. So, how does this work? Uh, it slides in through the top here. Again, you can see where this is chopped up. Over here, I had my navigation mounted, which I don't need anymore, so i got to clean this up. But um, this doesn't look too bad. All right, so when I turn the key, it turns on. I see it pop up there. I'm going to go ahead and pause it for a sec again. And here it is unlocked. Uh, I love the setup. I control the volume right here. This is 
connected to a Rockford Fosgate. Uh, I can't remember. It's uh, 360.2, I believe it is. That's what it's called. Maybe I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember. But it's uh, via Bluetooth. So I have that mounted in the back of the Dodge Ram pickup truck. So the Galaxy Tab streams the music to the back. I have the ODB2 sensor. I have the ODB2 sensor installed as well. And so I get the uh, um, distance to empty, speed, a bunch of other stuff that uh, you may want and all that. One of the things that I've come across that is kind of a problem is heat. In Arizona, it gets up to 122, 125 inside your car if it's parked outside. And unfortunately, my Dodge Ram pickup truck does not fit in my garage. So I have installed a solar panel in the back over there and behind the screen, or excuse me, the, the tablet uh, mounted to the actual car's, uh, the inside of the bezel and whatnot, is a fan. So the fan isn't very strong at all uh, but you know what it helps with uh, air circulation I've noticed since I put that fan on that the battery power does not drain twice as fast it still drains but um, it allows me to still jump in my car the next time and still have juice in here uh, if you notice I have it connected to my cigarette lighter down here uh, it looks kinda nasty right now but I'll get that fixed later on so whenever I turn my key my screen pops on I just slide my password and whatnot, and I'm good to go. Let's see. Sound. What's all this dumpstep about anyway? Well, there you have it. Just wanted to show you a couple of things on the Galaxy Tab, which many of you probably already know. Hey, look at that Sonic Electronics. Hey, this is Ricky from Sonic <laughs> Electronics here with the new GA. So, there you go. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll go ahead and uh, post any other information that I come up with as I post this on YouTube. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Please give me uh, your thoughts, suggestions. What do you think? Let me know, man. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.